in state ownership was a very large site, over two acres right in the heart of our inner city. And it was the site of Ireland's last working Magdalen, which closed in 1996. The Open Heart City project is a project that asks the ethical question, how do we act in this space? We consulted very long and very widely with survivors of reformatory schools, industrial schools, Magdalen laundries, mother and baby homes. We asked them, as a measure of justice, how should this site be redeveloped? We asked people in the local communities. We also asked experts such as other academics to feed into the design process so that we could imagine a new way of both honouring and marking the past and also moving forward collectively to a more egalitarian democracy and a more egalitarian future. In our consultations with survivors, they wanted a repurposing of this older institution to be an institution of education and memory. So the government agreed with our vision and has agreed to fund that vision. The impact is that the future of the site has been guaranteed, if you like, that there's going to be this archive on the site, there's going to be an operation by the National Museum, there's also plans for educational facilities, um, for an aspect of housing. So there'll be an interactive museum culture there and there will also be a new purpose-built archive. All of the archives that's currently under seal from all of those government commissions that inquired into these institutions. Walter Benjamin said that architecture is absorbed in a state of distraction. You know, most of the, you're not paying attention to it. It's not at the forefront of your mind. But somehow the way the site has been approached and the values that have been are inscribed in its redevelopment, I think you would feel that.